What a mouth-watering prospect this is. Two genuine heavyweights of European football, both with the potential to go all the way. It's difficult to pick a winner here. It's Arsenal, and they take on Barcelona. It's coming up live next on EA TV. Hello from the Catalan capital and one of the world's great cities, Barcelona. I'm Derek Ray and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. We've got action from the round of 16 in the Champions League to bring you. It's Barcelona versus Arsenal. Round of 16, Derek. This is where I feel that the smaller clubs still have a chance to knock one of the big teams out. As the competition goes on a little bit, the focus starts to get more concentrated from those big clubs. So, what can these smaller clubs do? Marc-André Ter Stegen starts in goal. Harry Maguire plays alongside Clément Langlais in the centre of defence. And the centrepiece of the attack today, Chiro Immobile. Really interested, Lee, to discuss with you the differences between the group stage and the knockout stages. Did you, as a player, prepare differently when the round of 16 began? Well, you don't before the game. You go into every game wanting to win, etc. But as the group sort of takes shape, you're now looking at results, say, like a draw will do us tonight. So you do start to play the game a little bit differently as the tournament goes on. Knockout football, just get out there and win the game. Here are the starters for Arsenal. The tactical battle is going to be highly instructive. 4-3-3 on one side and 4-3-3 on the other lead. Well, when you match systems up, it's all about individuals. Who can get the better of the player you're playing against? And in this formation, certainly the wingers are going to be key on either side. And the lone striker, when the balls come in the box, he needs some support from one of those three midfield players making runs into the penalty area. Frankie de Jong. Losing possession. Lee. Well, visionary passing. Brandt. And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. Well, here's the replay, and it's a lovely, quick counter-attack that sets up the chance. And once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. Back underway, Arsenal with the lead. I think it's fair to say N'Golo Conte has been figuring prominently on the back pages in recent days. Facing his former club, facing his past, Lee, that's not always straightforward. Yeah, Derek, it's a funny old day. It can be a day to remember, a joyous day when everything clicks. You get a good perception from the fans that once loved you, or it can be a day to forget. Hostile, you play terribly, you get beaten. He'll have his fingers crossed for sure. And a throw-in it's going to be. Rhys James. Immobile. Dembele. Now Conte. Moving the ball effectively. And he's through here. And the keeper's in trouble. 
Oh, that was a terrific stop in a one-versus-one one situation. Well, high fives all round for the goalkeeper. Absolutely fantastic. Well, we could have made that decision from up here on the commentary box. Real danger. A glorious chance. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Played into the centre of the box. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Good tackle. Julian Brandt. And an astute piece of defending. Oh, good vision. Longley. Barcelona have given it away. Florian Neuhaus. Lee Barnes looking confident with the ball at his feet and a promising looking attack but comes to nothing in the end racing forward trying to catch them out Brandt Barnes and moving the ball nicely surely well how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up Mikel Marino it's with Mikel Marino onto de Jong and that puts them in position Marino and back with Dembele. De Jong. Dembele. Terrific block there. Immobile! This could level it. And it is the equaliser. Parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? Well, let's see that again. It's a decent save from the keeper, but it bounces back into play. Where were his defenders? The striker's there, pushes it into the net. Even Steven won a piece on this match. Pau Torres. Goretzka has it now. Moving it forward. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Angelino. Maguire. And now this is Longley. Chiro Immobile. And a good-looking ball. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Crisp tackling. An example of how to press. A running room in the wide position. And a decent delivery. Struggling to get it away. Well, nothing untoward happened. Hero Immobile. Conte has it. De Jong. Tempele. He's using his strength to good effect. Goretzka. Barnes. And 
cut out by Conte. How many times do we say that? Chiro Immobile. And unable to keep the ball. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. N'Golo Conte. It's with Mikel Marino. Well, the first 45 minutes have come and gone here in Catalonia. But a lot to like about Chiro Immobile and his first half performance. Lee, your thoughts? Well, he stepped up to the plate to get that goal to put his team on equal terms. Can he produce a winner in this second half? Let's find out. And they begin the second half in the first leg of this Champions League round of 16 tie. Harvey Barnes. Brandt with it. Lee. And he's in an offside position. On and on he goes. Oh, what an opportunity. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. Well, here it is again. And I wonder how he waltzes past the defender so easily. And he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. Well, the manager knows the importance of that goal. He also knows that you're at your most vulnerable just after you've scored. So they're playing once more. Will Barcelona be able to bounce back? Well, there's been so much talk about a potential transfer, but it's potential no more. It's fact. I bet they can't believe the luck, Derek, getting in for that feat. He's a proper all-rounder. Chiro Immobile. And Barca moving the ball with purpose. Top-class defending. And breaking at pace with Menes. They need to get bodies back. Well, not to be in terms of the counter-attack. Frankie de Jong. Angelino. Now with de Jong. Immobile. A really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. And taken away, he won the ball. Well, just a quick reminder that we'll have all the live action for you from Wembley. The Carabao Cup final right here on EA TV. It's Arsenal facing Spurs. Well, any cup final is a good cup final to be in. This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point. And momentum is with them. Well, as we see from the replay, the keeper's got no chance. It's all about the strike, all about the power. He does everything right, head down, back in the net. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Lee. Barnes. Brandt with it. Oh, good use of the ball. Brandt. And here's Neuhaus. Will he play it in? Neuhaus. Well read to ease the pressure. 
And a throw in it's going to be. Well, they've decided to make a change. Running with the ball confidently. Florian Neuhaus. Brandt. It's opening up for them. Plays it back. And a goal to delight the fans. Just what they were hoping for. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick out a teammate. And that eventually leads to what amounts to a simple task of rounding the goalkeeper. 2v1. There's only one winner. Well, all the hard work has paid off, but the manager knows a lot more has to be done to secure this game. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. James. Conte now. Lee. Won it back. Longley. Now with De Jong. Angelino. So a throw in here. Florian Neuhaus. Verscharen. Excellent defending and able to get a body in the way. An encouraging move from Barca, and he was in the right place to intercept. Verscharen. And they need to get tighter. Might be a chance here. And this time it's in! Fabulous goal! And just look at the celebrations! Well, here is the replay, and to be fair, the keeper from that distance hasn't got much chance of keeping it out. Lovely goal. Well, let's have another view of that goal. And they're making a change. So the current scoreline, 4-2. A long lay. Good ball to switch the play. Maguire. And Golo Conte. On to De Jong. Angelino. Longley. And now with Angelino. Well, no luck keeping possession. Gabriel Jesus. Oh, lovely ball. And they could do damage. Could be. And it's in! They've eaten into their advantage. 
And this is not over. Not yet, anyway. Well, here it is again. And it starts with the ball over the top. Perfectly weighted. And then from there, the keeper had little chance. Two on one. Left completely exposed. And it made for a simple finish in the end. Well, how about this? 4-3. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. Lee. Well, he likes to run at them. He has time to play it over. Has someone to play it to. And a goal! That's his brace. They just can't keep him quiet. Well, here it is again, lovely disguise on the cross, the pullback catches out the defenders, and then the brute force and guile in equal amount sets up the chance to score, and he doesn't disappoint, does he? And so the final whistle, this first leg is over and it's a story of Arsenal with the advantage going into the return match. Well, going into a first leg, you take a lead before a ball is kicked. They've got that lead. Can they keep it in the second leg? Really delicately poised this one. And he put in a really thorough performance tonight, Lee. Well, clearly the difference between the two sides today. Two goals, a really good performance. Ran into the channel, did everything right. Absolutely, nine out of ten. Lee. 